Now, imagine for a second, you've finished your edit, it's the smoothest, silkiest shit you've ever made, you render it, and you post it on Instagram, and you're like, what? the hell where did the quality go today i'll be showing you how to improve the quality of your edits so without any jibba jabba let's get on with it i have this clip not an edit but like a clip ready for this i'm gonna add it to my composition and this is how it goes right you look at this it's pretty sharp right if it's not, maybe change your render settings right here from quarter to full and you'll see it in the render settings kind of thing. Now, I have a preset for the sharpenings of my edits named as Sharpen, but I'm going to show you what the preset is. Remember to add it to an adjustment layer because if you put it on the main clip, sometimes AE acts up and doesn't let you render it. Go on your adjustment clip, add sharpen to the thingy, and I honestly go with 39 or 28. However, you can like it depends on what you want really, but I say in between 20 to 50, but otherwise it would just be too sharp. Now, add unsharp mask to the adjustment layer. Now, my settings are usually 20 with 70. See, there's a difference. If I disable this, there's a bit difference in the vividness of the clip, so yeah. Then go to the effects and presets panel search up detail preserving upscale and add it change the scale to 100 reduce noise to 100 and the detail to 100 and change the alpha from bicubic to detail preserving this smoothens out the grains of the edit because of the sharpen and it's a bit better than like see if i disable it the part in the middle of the sunflower looks like this it's very whitish there's a sharpen vibe to it and if i put the detail preserving upscale again it's a bit toned down now comes to coloring a good edit without a coloring is not a good edit it's just bad like no don't ever do the mistake of posting an edit without a good coloring because then it ruins your whole vibe and it's just not it it's not the vibe stop i do not have magic bullet looks because i'm broke and my version of mag doesn't allow me to download crack version of it i'm gonna make my own coloring for the time being i usually do that i have a few presets i usually use them but like sometimes i have to do mine editing so go to the new adjustment layer add s gradient to it now if you don't have the sapphire plugin it doesn't matter you can just add gradient to it i i'm pretty sure it's built-in plugin for that wait no oh that's not okay i'm pretty sure there is something which you could you know use i think i would just say like maybe mask out double click this make it half and duplicate the clip go to the second clip m on your keyboard and invert it add exposure to the first one increase it a bit add exposure to the second one decrease it a bit maybe increase the feather of your mask i'm gonna go with 100 on both of them oh yeah this works god i'm a genius this is the best gradient i could do but you can tamper with the settings and it will be just fine i'm gonna add s gradient to the clip first change it to mult it's a kind of like an overlay kind of stuff so you can actually see your clip and not some black and white paper now play with these anchor points right here whatever you like you can increase the distance you can decrease the distance you can do whatever you want obviously with it now that that is done i usually add hue and saturation and depending on the vibe of the edit i either increase it to around 30 28 or decrease it to around 30 28 both of them look like this for the time being i'm gonna go increase it if you disable this you can clearly see the difference you can even add curves to it now curves is difficult to handle for me at least if it's easy for you good for you this is so confusing what is this line what am i supposed to do now what i do is click on the line once and like if i 
bring it here it goes more dark and vivid if i bring it here it goes more pale i'm gonna just like increase it a bit till here so it looks a bit yep now if i disable this again there's a difference i usually use tritone 2 because why not you can change the middle color to this it'll look like this or you can go blue it will look like this to change the opacity of this just increase the blend with the original and yeah that's basically it thank you for watching we're done